What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon ADC, and in this video I'm checking out the Pete's Pirate Life PPK folding knife, specify folding knife because he did just release a fixed blade as well under the same name. PPK of course stands for Pete's Pirate Knife, and for myself and a lot of Pete's Pirate Life fans, this is a highly anticipated knife, even more so than the fixed blade. Obviously there is a lot of hype around the fixed blade as well, but for me I was super excited about checking out the folding knife. This dropped last Saturday for $265, which is a little bit on the pricier side. I'll talk about that on the end, but obviously I wasn't you know, so offended by the price that I didn't pick it up. I was still super excited and still super happy with it, even at that price point. If you're not a fan of Pete's Pirate Life, that might really be kind of a deciding factor where maybe this was a little bit too much, but for me, it was okay. I do have it in the box, which isn't typical for these type of videos for me, but I did want to show just kind of the unboxing experience because it's done so well and just kind of a cool part of the knife, not just the knife, but everything around it. And so it is in a cardboard box with this gold logo on it, but inside of that cardboard box, you have this really lovely wooden box and it's a black wood. Not sure what type of wood it is, but it's uh, black with the silver logo and it's in there with a the magnetic enclosure so it doesn't slide open just when you kind of tip it. You do have to put your finger under there and slide it out. Once you slide it out, I'll show the inside just so you can kind of see where that magnet is sitting. Nothing too exciting, just a magnet holding it in place. But a really nice box that you can use for storing this once you, or if you want to, you can use it for storing or you can use it for something else. But inside of the box, we have a couple things. A murdered out Pete's Pirate Life Ranger Eye. So this is the same as the other Ranger Eyes, but the only way to get the blacked out version of it. So super excited about that. Just did a video on Ranger Eyes and happy to add that one to my collection. Right underneath that, we have the smallest cleaning cloth I've ever seen come with a knife. I haven't seen anyone mention this, but I feel like this is the most disappointing thing of it. It's not a big deal. I have a thousand cleaning cloths. So if I'm going to be disappointed by something, might as well be the cleaning cloth. But how well everything else in the box is done. I would just prefer him go over the top with this as well, so that there's really nothing in the box to complain about. Something like the V2 hat bag with a nice embroidered logo would have been really, really cool to see in there, but pretty minor gripe, all things considered. You also get a Pete's Pirate Knife sticker with a banner wrapped around the knife that looks really, really cool. Was super excited about that as well. And then a laser cut foam holding the knife in place. The knife itself is a grade 5 titanium handle with a black acid wash and that matches the blade as well which is S35VN drop point style blade. It is a flipper tab and that flipper works really really well. I was very happy with the detent on this. Sometimes with frame locks you get a little bit of a weaker detent but this one is really really well done. Just about perfect. I wouldn't have mind seeing it just a tad bit, maybe 5% stronger detent but really really good out of the box. And that's just because with flipper tabs, I feel like they can benefit from a stronger detent. But overall, it's a super smooth experience and works really, really well, at least for mine. It is a frame lock, like I mentioned. And the billboarding on this is really, really minimal. You have the Pete's Pirate Life logo right here on the blade, stamped kind of right halfway in between the flat edge and where that hollow grind starts. The only other branding of any sort is on the flipper tab. So you'll see it here, S35VN, and when it's closed, it, you can see it on the other side. So S35VN still, and I really like how minimal they kept the branding. And along with that, the just overall construction of it, you have a T10 here in the pivot, and then no other visible screws anywhere on the show side or on the back lockup side. And so that's because the only other screw on the knife is actually on the butt of the knife here, holding everything into place. You got the, your backspacer as well as your deep carry pocket clip, which I would assume is reversible, although I haven't disassembled this yet. Uh, I will at some point and figure that out, but it looks like it would be reversible since it is being held together by the same screw that's holding everything else. The pocket clip on here is really nice, doesn't interfere with, interfere with that frame lock at all. And overall, I think this is a super simple and clean design and works really well. I'm super happy with his first design. I'm not 100% sure how much of this was Peter McKinnon versus how much was Big Eye Design because the handles on this are being used on a Kickstarter for Big Eye Design right now. It launched a few days after this knife launched and the blade is not in it, it's actually on a utility knife, similar to the Exceed Designs 
tyrant, but the frames are exactly the same. And so they may own that design. I'm not sure really how that works, but I don't care so much. I like the knife itself, but that utility knife is on Kickstarter for 150. It's going to launch on the website at 175. So that does put the price here kind of a starting point for where we talk about that price, which is the biggest point of contention I've seen about this knife so far. $265, you're getting titanium with an S35VN blade. So I went on Blade HQ and just filtered for those parameters. There were knives that were more expensive than this one, but for the most part, they fell in the $170 to $220 range. So you're getting taxed a little bit for that Peach Pirate Life logo. For me, that's no different than the Benchmade tax or the Spyderco tax, any of these kind of bigger brands, you're gonna be paying a little bit more than what you would pay for a knife of the same materials from a smaller or lesser known brand. But I do kind of take into consideration the presentation we're getting with the wooden box and the Ranger eyes. That's obviously adding a little bit to the cost. It's not gonna be a significant amount, but it is adding a little bit to the cost for them. And the other thing is that this is a pretty small run, and so the cost for a small run is not the same as the cost for a mass-produced item. Sure, there's probably maybe a thousand of them. I'm not sure. I don't think these were numbered and you didn't release any numbers. I would assume it's probably around a thousand. And so that's going to cost a little bit more than if you're making 10,000 of the knives. And so paying $45 more than the top end of what we see for these materials really wasn't a deal breaker for me. Obviously I bought the knife. For some people it was and that's fine, but that's why it wasn't really kind of something that I took into consideration. I knew kind of the materials and when I saw the price, it wasn't something that shocked me or was above the threshold of what I was willing to pay. So I picked it up. Now that blade is a drop point style blade, 2.85 inches. So it's gonna be under that three inch kind of threshold for a lot of local laws that some people have. It is a frame lock, which works really well as well. The pocket clip keeps me from getting on that frame lock at all and that really just guillotine shut onto my fingernail. And then after that, you can give it a single shake to close it the rest of the way. So the action on it is super smooth and it is on ceramic bearings. Oh, the handle is about four inches overall. And for me, I'm able to get a four finger grip, but it is tight. So if you have larger hands than I do, then it may be a three finger grip. But for me, it's got a nice four finger grip and it's a really comfortable grip. Those contoured edges make sure that there's no hot spots and overall, really comfortable. There is some jimping along the spine of the knife, but it's some of the more subtle jimping that I've seen, and it's basically doing nothing. It doesn't need to be there. I, I guess it's contributing a little bit to the look. You feel it a little bit, but there's not really a grippiness because the jimping's not deep enough for it to really have much of an effect. So I wouldn't have mind seeing that a little bit deeper as well, or getting rid of it altogether since it's not adding a whole lot to the experience for me. The overall length is 6.89 inches, so just under 7 inches. Really good EDC size for me. That's going to be a little bit small for some people. I know I'm kind of on the lower end of what I want in an EDC knife in terms of size, and a lot of people enjoy kind of a little bit of a larger blade than what this has. The weight on it is 3.6 ounces, so not super lightweight, but it feels good in the hand still. Overall, I think this is a really, really good first offering from him. Like I said, I don't know how much of this was him versus big eye design, but I don't care that much either um, because I'm happy with the knife. I really enjoy the look of it. That black acid wash was perfect. The minimal logos and billboarding is really great. And it does ha still have that logo, but it's pretty subtle. Overall, pretty happy with it at that $265 price point. Could it have been a little bit cheaper? Yes, but it doesn't, it didn't sting to buy. And I bought a couple of knives at the same time as this. I think about three knives last weekend. This was the cheapest of them. Also probably the worst steal on a knife on any of them, but still the cheapest. And so it didn't feel astronomical, which was, there was a lot of, if you read like the comments on the announcement or the drop post, there was a lot of complaints about the price point. And so did want to address that, but for me, it was kind of a non-issue. But let me know what you think of this knife down in the comments below. As always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And I hope you have a great one. Take care.